Hey YouTube, this is Gail with Check This Gadget. I want to give you a quick look at this Toshiba satellite laptop. This particular model is the E55-A5114 model. And I'm just going to basically just tell you a little about the laptop since I've used it for a little bit. And basically show you what you get in the packaging. So this is the type of box it comes in. Basic box. Um, they have some papers on the inside but they were already expired. Um, it was a coupon. Mine was already expired though. Had a little Toshiba booklet here. Got some more information about their hard drives, laptop bags. Got a quick guide that comes with it for the satellite series. Now, I'll tell you a little information about all your ports and everything. And then warranty, legal junk. As you can see the computer's not in here, but just to give you an idea what the packaging computer will come completely in this. So that's the box it will come in. This is the type of charger you will get. Typical two-part charger, the power brick what your plug will look like for those that are curious and nice thing about Toshiba and some of the other laptop companies some of them give them two prong which is helpful when you're not in an area that doesn't have three prong even though a lot of places have three prong some houses still only have two what I like about this particular upper brand model of the Toshiba um, is this brushed aluminum that they have here they have going all around see we got rounded edges Let's start on the left side of the computer. So that's where your power plug would be. You have a UP USB 2.0 right there. Headphone jack. SD card. You can see it's very thin. It's pretty lightweight for um, a 15.6 inch laptop. So, and I think it's a uh, 0.9 in depth. Um, have your lights here so when you're charging your power Wi-Fi and then going to the right side of the computer you have your two USB 3.0 HDMI Ethernet so those are all the ports you get on there here's the back of the computer so you can see the vents everything once again if you didn't hear me there is the exact model Show you all the vents and everything. Flip it back over. Open it up. So it has a nice backlit keyboard. This particular model has an i5. It is the 1.6 Turbo Boost to 2.6. It's the i5 4200U. Um, I'll go into PC info, make sure I got that right. 6 gigabytes of memory, 750 gigabytes of hard drive space. What I can definitely say about this laptop, which is definitely a plus, is this keyboard. This keyboard is great. I'm a big person on how a keyboard feels. This keyboard is fantastic. Love it, love it, love it. I mean, this is a great keyboard to type on. The trackpad is uh, decent. Uh, I think I read it's not multi-touch. Um, I'm coming from a Mac, so I still have a Mac. I was just like one of my first high-end uh, Windows computers, so I'm not sure what all you can do with the multi-touch, but as far as a regular trackpad, what I'm used to, it works fine. So let me pull up the PC info so I can show you the exact data. Um, like I said, I really like this the fact that it's backlit, that it's nice. Um, another thing I like that they did was with all the keys up here, you can just press them and they do exactly what you see here. Some computers, they have the icons up here, but you have to press the FN button. In this case, if you want to use like F1, F2, any of the F keys, you have to press the FN in order to make it work. Otherwise, it would do exactly what's up here on the, on the button. So, I prefer when laptops do it that way because um, a lot of consumers really don't use the F keys that much like that. So, it's just more helpful if 
you know, once you press the button, it's doing these actual things versus, you know, having to press the F in, then press the button. So, I'll have the cap lock on. As far as performance, um, it's been pretty decent in my experience. My only gripe with this and the reason why I personally cannot keep it, even though I love this keyboard so much, and I love the the style of it. Um, the reason I cannot keep this because of the speakers. Toshiba has another line uh, that goes up that has the touch screen. This one doesn't have touch screen. It does have the full HD uh, screen, 920 by 1080. But this one is not touch screen. If you go up to the touch screen models, you get the Herman... Uh, what's the Harman Kardon speakers? Sorry if I'm getting that all wrong. But the Harman speakers, um, those are very loud. These speakers, they get loud, but it has it, it's very much lacking on the mids and low ends. Very, very much on the low ends. Um, I mean, absolutely no bass. And even when you, I even tried it with putting headphones in, absolutely no bass. Through just playing through speakers, absolutely no bass playing it through the um headphones so if you're like a music lover and want to listen plan to be listening to music and you are a person that likes low ends and want to hear something besides trouble you're not going to like this particular laptop if you just listen to audio like regular talking it'll be fine um so as you can see here here are the specs like i said intel i5 4200u processor so base speed of 1.6 gigahertz uh and turbo speed up to 2.3 gigahertz six gigabytes memory 64 bit no touch screen for this particular model which is 8.1 and performance you know it's gonna it's gonna do fine um have they had re any really problems videos play fine everything has pretty much been pretty good for me um the screen it's not, I guess coming from a Mac, it's not as bright as I would like it to be. It's not like horrible. Um, but I guess I'm just used to the more vibrant colors that the Mac produces. And so, this one wasn't as vibrant to me. I also have another Acer computer I'm going to review on my channel. Which has um, the brightness and the more vibrant colors I was looking for. I'm trying to pull up some text to give you an idea what the screen looks like. Although, I, you know, you really can't tell. Or you might can't tell. We, we shall see. Let me try to show you how Chris um, having a nice 1080 screen looks. I don't know how you can see how great that text looks. But um, it looks pretty good. The other thing to notice uh, that you might want to know when you're getting a 1080 uh, full HD screen. Um... You're gonna wanna if uh, if you're not a Firefox person, um, you might be disappointed. As you can see, look how good the text looks. Very very clear. Because if you're a Google Chrome person, what you're gonna notice in Google Chrome, I'm gonna open Google Chrome, is if you open Google Chrome, we have a full HD screen. The text is gonna look blurry. So let's look here. I don't know if you can tell as much. Um, it's probably looking really good on, on here, but it's it's a little fuzzier and it's not as crisp as the Firefox. So you're either gonna have to use Firefox or you're gonna have to use the Internet Explorer if you want to utilize having your text look nice and crisp uh, to utilize the the screen so I'm on Yahoo right now like I said I'm not sure if you can really tell how how it's not as crisp now I'm going to go to Yahoo on Firefox so you can try to see how Sorry, I, could have, I guess I could have had this pulled up, but I just thought about actually showing you this because it's kind of an important thing that you should know. Consider, I always use Google Chrome. I can use Google Chrome um, once I switched over here because it just doesn't look good on the screen. So, 
I mean, you should be able to tell through the screen, hopefully, the difference. Let me just keep it on that box. Switch over to Google Chrome. Okay, so if you can tell how the text just got a little thicker. So it's a little more. This is Firefox. Google Chrome. So that's the only disappointment if you're a really big Google Chrome fan. Let me show you some more text over here. Okay, we're on Firefox right now. Firefox. Okay, switching over to Google Chrome. So if you're a Google Chrome person, um, that might bother you by getting a full 1080 uh, HD screen. That's about the only thing. Um, so this is a decent laptop. You can get it at Best Buy, $599. Um, $599 is decent. I mean, I picked it up when they had $50 off. It's decent. The only thing, like I said, I love this keyboard. If you're a big typer, I think you're going to love it too. Um, it has like... It's a little glossy or key, and they're all square, no indents, straight, flat. Try to give you the best idea. Like I said, I personally love this keyboard, and I wish the speakers were better, and I wish I liked the screen more. Not that the screen is bad, I'm just saying I like a little more vibrant colors. It's just because what I'm used to for my Mac and the Acer laptop I'm going to review later gave me that. And also a big thing for me, if I'm spending this much money going up to the $600 range and over and things like that, audio is going to be a big thing for me. And I'm a very person that likes low end in my music, so I need to hear that. And that was a big disappointment. Even if I could have heard it through the headphone jack, I would have kept this computer. Um, but like I said, it doesn't. there's no low ends or mids really uh, coming through the speakers or through the headphone jack. You know, very high-end treble, pretty much. If you listen to the audio, it'll be fine. If you're a music lover that likes the low ends, not going to like this laptop. Unless mine's is uh, faulty, but I doubt it. I haven't had any other problems with it. So, that's just a quick look. Um, giving you some details over this particular model and computer here. Um, I just wanted to show you that because I know sometimes... You're looking up laptops and you like to probably search on YouTube and hearing a personal opinion about it. There's nothing like checking it out for yourself though. So that is a I don't I guess my quick review. I'm I'm not one to do benchmark tests and all that junk because I'm like I said I'm really do my stuff for regular consumers. Uh, and as a regular consumer, this will get the job done. I didn't do any horror tests as far as putting my video programs on here or photography programs. Um, but it should be fine. Like I said, I have a I use my MacBook Air. I use video stuff on my MacBook Air photography stuff, and it has an i5. Uh, it clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. So I would assume the PC could do the same. Of course, they're different operating systems, and they utilize the processors different. So you know that's always something to factor. But if I did put video stuff in here, I would expect it to do fine. But like I said, I did not get a chance to test that feature out. I just did a lot of web browsing, just regular PC stuff. And with that, it worked, you know, it worked well like it should. No major stutters or anything like that. No horror freezes. No major, any major problems so far. And I had, you know, I've been taking through tests for a few days now. A few, like a week now. So, that is my review of uh, the Toshiba Satellite E55 A114, I believe. Yes, A5 E55 A5114 model. You can pick it up Best Buy, $599.99. As you can see, I5. Um, the I5 4200U process, you can look it up. Um, I believe it's a dual, dual core. Uh, ultra low voltage, I believe is what I said on saw on my notebook check, but you can Google it and tell y'all information about that particular core, uh, particular processor. So, like I said, that is my review of the Toshiba. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, um, and check back later for other laptop reviews, gadget reviews, phone reviews, anything tech, accessories, cameras, pretty much you can find here. So make sure you follow and check this gadget. Check back later.